It is the gray cloud that comes over you and obscures all positive thought. You are living in a state that is not to you frequently worth it. You would, for that moment, prefer to be dead. It's a real illness, and it's something that the person can't control when they are experiencing it. I call it the thief in the night. It comes in, it so disables you that it renders you helpless, and you really can't do much. And if you feel like you have nothing to live for, if you feel completely hopeless, then what's the point of getting out of bed? Oh, I remember you. It's hard because I know it's an uphill battle. I know what life is gonna be like for him and I wish it was easier. My greatest fear would be that he would be susceptible to suicide. I think I could have avoided a whole lot of unnecessary pain if I had been able to be more honest with my, my husband, of all people. Why would I want to hide anything from him? And that just speaks to you know, the stigma associated with depression that, that I could hide something that big from him, do whatever I could to trick him into thinking that everything was okay. It doesn't say, I'm just gonna affect the rich person or I'm just gonna affect the poor person. The mental illness covers all different races, nationality, and no matter how much money you got. It's horrible. I mean, it's, it's like uh, somebody's dying in the family and uh, it's very hard on everyone. There were a lot of times when I said, I don't know how much more I can take, how much more of this, you know, can I bear, try as we might. This was um, a, a moving train that we threw ourselves on the tracks to stop, but we realized that eventually we could slow the train down, but the train was eventually gonna run over us. Between the medication and the therapy, I got better. No matter how bad it is, there's a better day waiting.